Hello everyone, this is Funny. You are watching Funny Hitches Info. Today I come up with the topic Fire Pump House. A fire pump is a part of fire sprinkler and a hydrant system's water supply and can be powered by electrical diesel pump. The pump intake is connected to the independent fire sump. A fire pump works through the use of an engine which can be powered by electrical diesel or sometimes by steam turbines. The pump is activated when one or more of the sprinklers in the system is triggered, causing the pressure in the system to drop below a specific level. The fire pump house consists of storage facilities like water reservoir and diesel storage tank. Pumps Jockey pump, electrical driven, diesel engine, standby pump and booster pump. Pipelines, hydrant line and sprinkler lines. Valves, solenoid wall, NRV, vice trainer, ball wall, gate wall, butterfly wall. Safety instruments, level indicators and pressure gauges. Power controls, control panel, VFT panel, battery and other accessories like hose box, hose reel, nozzles and branches. Let me brief one by one of these components. First one fire water sumps and diesel tank. A dedicated fire reservoir of total capacity ranges from 1500 to 5000 cubic meter approximately to be provided and for any additional requirement there is a separate sum to be provided. The water storage based on the size and facility of the factory. A dedicated diesel storage tank for fuel source for diesel driven pump. The fire pump house consists of a different capacities of pumps as shown below for both hydrant and sprinkler lines separately. These are jockey pump, electrical driven, diesel engine, standby pump and booster pumps. These pumps are installed based on the capacities of motor, pump flow capacities, capacity of the header with some certain pressure set points as shown in this table. The pressure ranges from 5.5. As per pressure settings on the side condition, the pressure drops for a pressure, for example, 8 kg per centimeter square for jockey pump will start automatically. If the pressure become normal, which means 11 kg, the jockey pump will stop automatically. If the requirement of water still remains and the pressure goes below set level, for example 6.5 kg, the main electrical driven pump starts automatically and to be stopped manually. When the main pump running, the jockey pump stops automatically. If the pressure goes below set levels, which means 5.5 kg, the diesel engine operated pump starts automatically but to be stopped manually. A separate booster pump is required for providing sufficient water pressure for long distance areas. Coming to the pipelines, the total fire hydrant and sprinkler pipelines are to be laid across the plant covering all the internal and external areas. The recirculation line for recirculate water in the sumps and a dedicated diesel pipeline for diesel driven pumps. Coming to the valves, there are different types of valves arranged to maintain pipeline systems. A solenoid valve, ball valve, gate valve, butterfly valves are flow on off valves and NRV non written wall to control black flow, waste trainer to remove unwanted solids. The safety instruments installed in this pump house are level indicators for checking the sumps and tank levels, pressure gauge for checking pipeline pressures, the power controls, control panel, the panel contains the devices required for operation and control of the pump. VFT panels, this panel for jockey pump to control motor speed, 
battery for diesel driven pumps and the accessories the entire external and internal hydrants have been equipped with a hose box containing two hoses of 15 meters long and one number of standard branch the other accessories like fire hose reels 30 meters approximately a different types of nozzles and branches to use in case of firefighting this is about fire pump house components and this pump house is main, maintained by a dedicated team pump house to be checked daily using checklist and maintained regularly hope you understand the basics of fire pump house again i come up with a new topic Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, share my videos.